Hi, I'm Mike Robinson and welcome to my daily cooking video. Um, today I'm cooking a wild ingredient that is sometimes overlooked and it's amazing. And these are wild sardines. Now, to me, probably the most glorious of fish, the oily texture, the health of them, amazing. Oily flesh is good for you, it's been proven. And I'm gonna cook them over charcoal, the Portuguese fashion. So to do that, I'm just gonna lay my little grate here on and I'm gonna start laying I'm actually really excited about this. Without doubt, one of my favourite foods is grilled sardines over charcoal. And we're doing these in a really old fashioned way for our lunch, over charcoal with gremolata. And what is gremolata, you ask? Well, gremolata is a wonderful condiment made of just a few ingredients. Now I'm going to close the lid on those. And I've got a brush here with some rosemary, lemon and olive oil, and I'm going to brush that liberally on these fish as they cook and if it starts to flame a bit I'll lift them off and I want the olive oil to get all over those fish yeah let that burn off that's it this is such a nice way of cooking them um, it, it stops the flesh falling off the bones it's very fast a lot of heat and you want them almost a little blackened and then we'll literally eat these with our fingers with an amazing green salad. Keep checking. Oh, this isn't going to take long, so let's get on with the other part. So while those sardines are cooking away, I'm going to make some gremolata. Now gremolata is a simple mixture of lemon zest, garlic, four or five cloves, pretty pungent, and a nice big pile of chopped parsley. Okay, that's the core ingredient. Then I'm going to add some salt some pepper, like so, that's really nice. And I'm gonna add some lemon juice to it. So these are the lemons that I zested. When you squeeze a lemon, put the cut side up in your hand and then squeeze and hold your thumb out and the liquid will just run down. There we go. It's such a lovely condiment, this. Check our sardines. Oh, look, look. Oh my days, that looks so good. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to give this a real good mix, parsley, the garlic, the lemon, and the parsley famously counteracts garlic. So whilst this looks really strong and smelly and pungent, it's actually not that bad. I'm adding a tiny drop of olive oil, not very much. You don't have to put any olive oil in, to be honest. And this is just like more like a condiment than anything else. Lovely. Beautiful, just beautiful. Keep that lovely going on. And now I'm going to put some sea salt on them. So sprinkle them liberally with sea salt, lift it off, let that initial oil go, which is why it's much better to do them in a little frame like this than it is direct, because you can't lift them off, they'll stick and all that. Perfecto. Okay, so we've made our gremolata. Very, very simple, as I say, very easy, quite pungent, but really delicious. Now I've got a little green salad made up and I need to make a dressing. And this is um, my favorite dressing, this is very French. And this dressing uses a really pungent French whole grain mustard. Let's get rid of most of that. And I'm gonna spoon that into, into my, there we go into my jug. I'm going to put a sploosh of cider vinegar in there. I'm going to put a twizzle, I think that's the word, of honey for sweetness to counteract the vinegar. Yummy. And I'm going to put a little squeeze of lemon in there for flavour. And then of course olive oil. And I'm not making a vast amount because there's only two of us. Give it a nice mix and we want it to emulsify and that means just all come together into a lovely thick dressing. A little bit of seasoning. Yeah, throw some of this pepper on the fish in a minute as well. If you have a look, this is, look how thick that is, beautiful. That's a proper vinaigrette, mm. old fashioned vinaigrette, thick and Mustard, honey, and lemon all working together. 
see if I can, mostly I think these are going to release quite well. Just give them a little tap there and let that skin release off the thing. That's looking really good. All right, let's have a look. Come on in. The nice thing about stainless steel is that I can just, I'm going to just ease these babies off. That's it. Yes. There we go. Look at, you can see they're cooked to an absolute tea. All a bit blackened and amazing. I'm going to lay them on this lovely. Try and get these off, mostly in one piece. You're going to lose some skin with sardines. Always happens, but it doesn't matter. Some of my gremolata, and I'm just going to sort of sprinkle it. Use my hand. I'm just going to sort of sprinkle it over these fish. Like so. Oh, yummy. Now here we are, the fruits of the labours. Amazingly grilled sardines. These are from Cornwall, they're proper British sardines. I'm gonna do a last little squeeze of lemon just to bless the sardine and a last little sprinklage of salt. I'm gonna dress our beautiful salad here. Give it a toss. Oh. In this glorious weather we're having, I think a nice bit of salad. There's a lot of watercress in here, which is peppery and one of my favorites. I'm gonna use my fingers and get a couple of sardines going down, maybe three. And now we're gonna eat. So this is the secret. Hmm. There's something about the oily, charred, crunchy flesh and that pungent gremolata. And I'm transported to Greece or Portugal. And it's just so good. Mm. Oh, hang on. Sorry. And there we go. A simple fresh fish recipe you can do anywhere. Do it outdoors. So easy, so delicious. Please cook sardines. Don't overlook them. They're amazing. Tomorrow we're going to do something with deer. I haven't quite decided what yet. And I look forward to you joining me next time.